Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, one and all. <clears throat> uh, we are going to do another... You know what we're doing. I don't have to tell you. I don't have to say it. It's in the video title. It's the only format that um, that means anything. <sighs> Alright, we're having a good time. And what are we taking here? Control magic? No. Maybe. Bitter Blossom? Maybe. These are the two picks I'm leaning towards. I think it's <clears throat> probably Bitter Blossom, right? That is a sizable threat. Maybe we be, maybe we try White Black. We can wield this Godless Shrine. I want to take Bitter Blossom. Ooh, Sword of Fire and Ice? That goes pretty good with the Bitter Blossom. So does Drana. I think Sword of Fire and Ice is a little better. Drana actually might table. <clears throat> I'm going to take the Sword of Fire and Ice. Yo, Drana. Yeah, I don't know if she's worthy of that kind of response. I think you just, uh... I think you got a little out of hand there. Uh, drafted Naya Ramp and went 2-1 yesterday. I'm hoping to do exactly the same tonight. I think if you can go 2-1, you're in good shape, right? You've won more than you've lost. You've broken even. That's all I can ask for. Libel Intel, what's going on? Bah. And I was just Nickel Bolas. The Nickel Bolas burned out long before. A Johnny of Tyrants could be good, actually. Oh, we could take the Nicol Bolas, but I think we've done that a lot. I kind of do want to try to keep the, the black-white germ alive and take this Ajani. <clears throat> Putting a counter on two Bitter Blossom tokens every turn. Chupacabra. That's the only card I could see taking if we are going black-white. None of these other cards are really conducive to what we want to do anyway. I like Dismiss a lot, but I could just take the Chupacabra and keep on keep on trucking. Flavors his crust. Flooding here in Texas almost became one of the vehicles you see in the news and think those dummies. No. When it's flooding like that, we've gotten to a point where like the floods are so common that when I see people getting flooded and like they have their trucks and the, their vehicles in the, in the water, I'm just like... Wrong place, wrong time. That's all it was. <clears throat> I would not have thought less because of that. But I am glad that uh, that you dodge that because that does not sound ideal. <clears throat> Gideon Jura. Oh, wretched confluence. Thalia could be very, very good. <clears throat> Just having all your creatures come in and play tapped is huge. I think Thalia is actually the play here if we're going for like this this black-white mid-rangey deck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three cards are coming back. I don't think it's going to be... It might be Gideon Jura or Slaughter Pact, which would be nice. I also like Wretched Confluence a lot. We already have a Johnny and Sword of Fire and Ice. Both go, both go really well with Thalia, though, so I'm going to go with that. Thunair, what's going on? Linvala, Silverblade Paladin could be good. Scrap Heap Scrounger could be okay, especially if we can just keep getting it back. I feel like the aggressive decks are probably pretty good in this cube. I'm going to take Scrap Heap Scrounger. <clears throat> Silverblade Paladin's cool, but I think we can get a lot more three drops than two drops. <laughs> Lyra does pump rest, though. I'm not sure how either of those are relevant right now, and we have neither, but... I also don't think we've passed either one of those, but... <clears throat> I 
Oh, Mother of Runes is like the perfect card for this deck. My god. And the only playable card in that pack for our for our archetype. Mike, what's going on, buddy? How you doing? Aleshnorn and Bone Shredder. Aleshnorn's a little bit expensive for what we want to be doing. I'm going to take the Bone Shredder. Bone Shredder and Chupacabra are good times. Precinct Captain? Okay. We also have Read the Bones. Worth noting the Godless Shrine did not come back, unfortunately. I like Secure the Wastes. Spectrum Procession? Okay. <clears throat> I don't think the Concealed Courtyard is coming back either, unfortunately, but... Take the one card in our colors. Alushin aren't great with Bitter Blossom and Spectral Procession and Secure the Wastes, but... What can you do? 1-2 in my first league so far. <clears throat> well, you got two more rounds, right? So, take that 3-2 home. Slaughter Pact did come back. Silverblade Paladin also came back. Okay. So you can see what I was saying about the three drops now. As opposed to our two drops. Makes me sad that the uh, two of the good lands, two of the good black white lands, were in this pack, so we don't we're not gonna get them. If we see a scrub land or a marsh flats, we're definitely taking those pretty highly. I started playing Overwatch with your stream in the background, opened a loot box, and got a legendary skin. Keep being my good luck. Hey, buddy. That's all I could ask for. Keep it up. Keep it up, you. You being lucky with me in the background. There's the Marsh Flats. <clears throat> Do we take it over a Grave Daddy? Or a Path, even? We have a lot of removal. We have Bone Shredder, Ravenous, Chupacabra. And, and Slaughter Pact already. I don't think we really need Path. Overwatch, you say? Oh, I got... I got Nifty Chris and I got uh, I got McGimp in here. So it's either oh god, Grave Daddy's so so good. I think we want the fixing land. I hate doing it. Oh god. Oh, all right, rewarded. Jitte is great, especially with the number of tokens that we have in our deck. Hopefully, this Bells and Lock comes back because no one appreciates Bells and Lock in the cube. <clears throat> What's Paladins? I don't get it. I don't get it. You guys have, like, some Overwatch memes going on here? I don't understand. Brightling? That's, like, the exact card we want for this deck. That's fantastic. Our deck is very heavy white right now. We want double white on turn two and double or triple white on turn three, so... Oh, I have this Elton John song stuck in my head. Long before the legend ever did. <clears throat> Elton John is fantastic. You are not incorrect. Masquerworm. Cast out. Probably Masquerworm, right? I don't want Languish. It kills our guys. I think Masquerworm is just a nice card to have. I think Cast Out's good. It's Actually, it's probably Cast Out, right? It gets rid of Planeswalkers and things. That's actually probably better for our deck. Oh, Levon is good. That's a great. That's a that's a great, uh, lesser known uh, Elton John cut. Murder. Speaking of cut, 
Sky Sovereign could be good in this deck. We got plenty of creatures to crew it. Mindbender could be okay. Sack like a Chupacabra. The problem is we have a bunch of tokens, so... I like Timely for the sideboard against the red deck, but I'm not sure if we actually need it. We have Jitte, and we have Mother of Runes, and we have, like, Brightling. I don't actually know if we want Murderer's Cut. I think, we just, I think I actually just want Sky Sovereign. I think it's just a nice top end. Ooh, Adanto Vanguard is actually surprisingly obnoxious in this cube. That has been my experience. I'm going to take that, especially because Indestructible with uh, Sword and, and Jitte is pretty nice. <laughs> Shambling Vent... Absolutely perfect. One of the best possible lands we could get here. Yeah, I think Mentor is very, very good as well. I think that was also a an option. I think Adano Vanguard, card. Like, Mentor makes us play it on three and then commit a lot of mana to it on the turns after. Whereas Adanto just puts a lot of pressure on early, which is kind of what I'm looking for with the Jitte and the Sword. So, I think both are fine options, though. Elspeth. Hmm. It's not Grey Merchant. It's gotta be Elspeth. I don't like... I'm not a big Banisher Priest fan just because they're very easy to kill. That is a late Elspeth. Our deck is pretty much fantastic right now. Kithian's okay. I don't care about Relic in this cube that much. Underworld Connections is probably too black intensive to be casting. Hangerback's probably too mana intensive. I think we just want the Kithian. Another one drop is fine. Karmic Guide, eh? Parallax Wave is actually surprisingly good because you can just win the game out of nowhere. It's basically a white cryptic command. Taps their team down. I do like a Karmic Guide though, especially if we have we can get a Brightling back, a Chupacabra. I think Karmic Guide's pretty useful here. I'm gonna take out the Secure the Waste. I just don't think we need it, and I also don't want to be committing that much mana to something. So, I think this deck actually looks great so far. <sighs> Glorious Anthem, eh? Yeah, I'll take a Glorious Anthem. That could be very good. Wow, that Green Lantern joke was pretty on point. Color me impressed. With a Parallax Wave. That's pretty good. Oh, the Timely came back. How nice. Oh, Mentor. See? And look at that. Mentor came back anyway. Alright, our deck's pretty much done. I would say do we even need the black, but we have double black fixing lands and we have a bitter blossom. I could see cutting Chupacabra just because double black might not be what we want. Our deck looks very good. I think it's Gideon here. I think I like that joke because it's so niche. Like you got a Hal Jordan Green Lantern Parallax reference. It's pretty good. I, I think the only thing would have, been, would have been better if you said, how does how does Hal Jordan greet Sinestro? And I would have been like, how? And then even like a parallax wave, and I'm like, wow, that's very good. I think you could have taken it one step further, but I don't I don't I don't think it's any worse for not having done so. Yeah, I think it's gotta be Gideon here. I could see Kalidus being better, maybe, but 
I don't like this Soren. But I think it is better than Whip as far as like giving our guys lifelink. Avacyn's pretty good. Pack Rat's also just Pack Rat. Journey also gets a dude out of the way. Yeah, I almost think it is Pack Rat. Yeah, I think Pack Rat's better than like Gideon. Gideon heard me and he's like, what'd you just say? I think we're definitely taking Vindicate here. Vindicate's fantastic. It kills anything. It kills lands, guys. What do you know about a Gideon? What do you what do you know about a Vindicate? What do you know about that Vindicate? What is this candy? Whenever X number of creature cards in your graveyard. Okay. Okay. Uh, interestingly, we only have like 12 creatures right now, so a lot of our a lot of our creatures are not actually creatures like Bitter Blossom. Legion's Landing, Sky Sovereign, Gideon, Elspeth, Spectral. I almost like the mana confluence just because of the the color the color requirements in the deck. I don't care about unexpectedly absent, especially when we have cast out and vindicate already. Scrubland, oh my god! And there's nothing else in this pack we really care about. That's fantastic. All right, now I'm feeling real good about our our decisions. I like an offensa just because she does this naturally, and I think she's actually better than precinct captain probably. It's also non-token, unfortunately. That does make it worse. I could see playing Gifted Aetherborn, but... Double Black is not really where we want to be, I don't think. I'm just going to take the Anafenza. For pretty obvious reasons. <laughs> Excuse me. I don't know if I'm sold on Legion's Landing or Kithian right now. Like, we have to make cuts is the only reason I'm... Oh, Arena Rector could be good. What do we have? A Johnny, Elspeth, and Gideon. Actually, that seems really good. I don't think it's a Mirror Angel. I don't care about Graveyard Marshal. We have better equipment than this. Yeah, I'll just take this. I don't know if we're going to play it, but... Mm, too bad, Athalia. That almost seems worse for us because we have devil. We have a lot of planeswalkers and we have a lot of removal and and equipment. We also have a ton of ways to make creatures, so I wasn't really super interested in uh in Amiria because of that. Like I don't think we need more one one flyers. All right, so both of our both of the cards we were looking at came back. I'll just take the creatures you control will get plus one plus O oh, and lifelink. Yeah, that's got to be better. This is 26 cards now. God, it's so many. Eric, I'm not sure everything did. I still got to go in on. I got still got to take it on Monday, so I have no idea if the car is okay or not. I'm gonna assume it is, and he gave me an estimate, so we'll see. But he could actually start working on it and be like, "Sorry, it's much worse than I thought," and then I'm just in bad shape. So I have no idea. We'll have to see. What a boneheaded! What a boneheaded move! And unexpectedly absent came back anyway. All right. Well, our sideboard's pretty pretty sick. So is our mana base actually. Four fixing lands is pretty nice. In my life, I've frequently found that hoping for the best. Actually, the hope part isn't isn't bad. I was gonna say hoping for the best is often not led to the most favorable outcomes. Um, but hoping hoping doesn't do that. It's not the hoping part that does that. Wow. That is a late Emrakul. You guys have no respect. We have a Vindicate. I think we can cut the cast out. 
Uh, I don't think we care about Karmic Guide or this. And this is 24. We might just be able to add a bunch of one, one drops. So what do we have? Bone Shredder and Vindicate. What if we cut this? Cut Inquisition. Added. Kithian's already in here. All right. This deck looks pretty sick, actually. I think we just play it like this. Maybe we run 16 lands with our with our curve topping out at 4. We can actually add either NFNs or Legion's Landing. And Legion's Landing actually acts as another land. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, I like this a lot. Um, we're going to go higher on this. This is 12, 12, 8. That seems good because you do want to black on turn 2. Yeah, this seems great. The only card I'm actually missing is Anna Fenza here. All right, let's see how it goes. I'm excited. Oh, I'm excited. I want to play the Soren because I think the Lifeling is very beneficial when we have this many tokens. And the plus one, obviously. And I think Soren is better when we have Academy or Arena Rector because we can just get any one of these four. This hand is interesting. I kind of want to mulligan it just because we have no action. This hand is reasonable, except for no one and two drop. Like in the in the legacy cube is not as oppressive. But do I really want to not have a play until turn three? We're on the draw. That rat can do work too? The pack rat? Rat wins games. Oh, that was a good draw. I'm going to say you too, but I hate answering the is this being streamed question because I, I feel like then they just go look. They're probably going to look anyway. They always look. Oh, I like that. Alright, this is actually pretty okay. Do you ever attack with Mother of Runes? I don't think so. We're probably going to run out Brightling first. Just because it's infinitely better. Dang it. Look at all these cards. And they targeted themselves. It's not very nice. Oh, that was a good one. Now I'm tempted to just attack Jace, but yeah, it seems bad. Like we attack Jace, they go like Oblivion Ring your Brightling, and I'm just like, no, oh, that's not good. Now we're just having a bad day. Had a bad day again. I said I would not understand. Who is that? What is that like? Is that Matchbox Twenty? I was also really impressed with Blightning, Blight, Blight, Brightning, Brightling. That's something. Here comes the old repeal. This is very fascinating. Fascinating. Huh. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Okay. So that makes sense. I see what just happened there. Uh, 
Next time we can go mentor, keep a mana up. Yeah, Eileen's great. Eileen in Washington is fantastic. Shut up and take my money. Doomsday. What's actually, Adam, dude, I, at the beginning of the stream, I was like, oh my god, I have to respond to you. I just knocked my trash can over. It was extremely loud. Hold on one second. I'm going to fix that. Okay, it wasn't that bad. Wow, that was so loud. Yeah, I totally have to respond to you. I want to respond to you after this stream. So hopefully that's okay. Sorry about the delay. Things have been something. I'm not impressed by Brightling bright, at all so much, man. Is that being, is that, are you being serious there? Because, like, it's a 3-mana three 3-3. Three, three. You don't have to invest any mana in it whatsoever. But if you want to, you can. Also, swords, gods, and titans. Let's do that again. That seems pretty good. Let me write that down so I don't... I'm going to forget that actually is a thing. Oh, God. Gods, huh? That's interesting. Okay. Do I go with Jace? I mean, they're going to either draw a card or draw us a card. I think it's probably worth killing Jace. Yeah, I was going to do it last night and then I totally forgot. Oh, I guess we just win the game after we have Mother of Runes and they have six cards in Ancestral Vision. I don't know what happened, but all right. I accept. I think we're just going to smell like this. We haven't seen anything. Like, Actually, Inquisition might be good here. I'm going to take out the Bone Shredder. Hopefully that works. Like, I don't know how many creatures they have, but we have Vindicate, and we have a bunch of things that don't really care about creatures anyway, so. Oh, this is good. I will keep this hand. Oh, boy. Vampires.deck over here. All right, so it might be Spectral Procession turn three. I'm not sure. Our turn three is... You better beat this guy up. He's hard to deal with. Okay. This guy is scary with Mind Slaver, though. If they steal your turn, then they're just like, all right, pay a million life. Gideon of the Trials. Sure. I feel like if we go Sword this turn, we can actually play Bitter Blossom next turn. I think Bitter Blossom Equip next turn is probably better. I don't really want to commit a, a Brightling or a Spectral Procession to the board when we have, when they could have like Wrath of God or Supreme Verdict here. This is Supreme Verdict just to get rid of a Sky March or Aspirant, which is pretty okay with me. Actually, now I actually think I do want to Spectral instead of the Bitter Blossom because I want to put a bunch of dudes on the board to guarantee we get in. A land this turn would have been okay because then we can play Jitte and Sword, but if we got a land, we would not have gotten the Jitte at all, so... Wrath of God? Sure. 
This actually isn't uh, Mono Blue Tron. This is very similar. It's actually a similar deck. It's called Blue Black Tron minus Tron, and uh, it's actually not a constructed deck. It's a it's a it's a cube deck. It's really it's kind of it's similar, similar but different. That's interesting. So this guy's not going to deal anything. We're going to put a thing on this guy. I think we're just going to attack your Gideon with all... Or attack your face with uh, this guy. Attack your Gideon. Attack your Gideon. Could have sworn I did it, but all right. I feel like things are going pretty well. Even if they Wrath here, we can save this guy and still a Bitter Blossom. I feel like that pre that Supreme Bird is a little preemptive. But what do I know? They could they could bounce the sword. I kind of like Thalia here, just so if they try to flash something in, it doesn't work. I also kind of like just equipping Jitte. Yeah, I like Jitte in case they want to activate Colonnade and block. They could Cryptic Command tap our team, which would be unfortunate, but we do get to resolve a Thalia if that happens. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we're just going to attack now. They could have Snapcaster, but it doesn't get them any value. Chase, you, you, you. They could save their Jace, but... I mean, at that point, we can actually shoot the Jace. I don't think that's a big deal. They can't repeal this guy. They can't repeal the sword anymore. Path you. Okay. just play Brightling because we can bounce it if they try to Wrath, which is nice. I have a feeling they're going to play Sun Titan and get the Jace back. Yep. Seems good. Well, I can assume that's the last one they have. They have three cards. We have four cards and a Bitter Blossom and a Sword. I like our chances. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit here. I'm just going to play it all. I want it all, and I want it now. So, I'm going to miscalculation. Did they cycle that? Is that what they wanted to do? I'm not sure if they wanted to cycle that or if they wanted to counter Thalia. I guess we'll never know. Well, that was something. I have no idea how that was supposed to go. Our deck is great. 
Another oops. Two oops. Hashtag two oops. Uh, this hand is a keeper. It's a little dangerous mana confluence, but I assume we can get another land of some sort by s at some point. Hmm. Let's play Swamp. If we play mana confluence, um, it means we have to use mana confluence and take a point next turn when we cast something. If we draw any other land like that to get a white source, it means we can only take one and get a plains. How deep do we want to go? Pack rat? We have a lot of two drops here, which is very, very nice. I think we just have to pack rat here, right? If pack rat survives, we can discard scrap heap scrounger very, very easily. They have to kill this now, but it's a black card, so your odds of doing so are not super high. Untapped with my rat. My ratty tat 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 tat. Don't be a land. Or be a land, I don't care. Mother of Runes, sure. Although if they go Chupacabra, I mean, we're going to have a hard time catching up. Because even if we can make rats, like, them being able to kill one of the rats right now. It's not the bait. Oh, that's not going to do it. I'm tempted to just play Sky March Asper in here just because it's another threat. I think we're going to. And if we hit another land, we can go discard Vanguard, get back Scrounger, make a rat. <laughs> Pack rats are doing work. Pack rat is not a fair card. Yep. No blocks. Arena Rector, sure. More like Arena nearly killed her. <laughs> Hi oh! Oh, that's sad. You can never stop my rat attack. One, two, three, four, five, we have seven permanents. Okay, okay. We can also Spectral Procession. I don't think that's the play, though. One, two, three. We're going to discard Vanguard. I think that's the weakest link. And this will give this guy flight, which is nice. I don't even think we attack with the rats here, to be quite honest. Because if they block... We get in three, but next turn we can attack for 12. Although if they play a thing, they can't make Thassa unblockable and play a thing this turn, so that's only seven damage. Eh, obnoxious, really obnoxious actually. 
We can also just play... If they just attack with a bunch of stuff, we can actually just play Soren and... It's a lot of damage. That that changes the, the math a lot. Oh, a Plains. That's very good. Do they not play land and then... That's interesting. So they can block two. So they'll probably, probably block here and here. Probably kill a rat and block here. So they take one, two, three, four, five, six. They go to six. Yeah, Soren plus one gives lifelink, which is very, very relevant. If we had one more land out, we could actually play planes, discard procession, make another rat, but... Once this goes away, though, once they lose the control magic, they also lose the Thassa, so... Oh, that's interesting. Oh, yeah, that's great. Oh, that's unfortunate. They still take seven. Yep, now we have no reason to keep cards in hand. They did get rid of the Packrat, but Packrat dealt a lot of damage. Plus, we have an active Soren on board. They can kill Soren, but then they don't have blockers. And we do have Spectral Procession and a Flying Sky March Aspirant, so. The Planes does mean they can play pretty much anything in our deck now, which is. Kind of obnoxious, but but if they kill Soren with Nightvale Spectre, they don't get to actually search for anything. They don't get to reveal our top card. Okay. Yeah, Soren Ult is good, but I don't think we're actually going to hit. I don't think we're going to be hitting the Soren's Ultimate anytime soon. All they need is one more blue pip, and then Thass is back online. And we don't really have any removal for it. All right. Oh, that's. Oh. Oh, that's funny. Oh, no attacks. Let's play this. Plus everything. Do they do we think they have a planeswalker? I guess it doesn't matter because we actually don't want to kill this. We just kinda want to float in the air. Force you to block. Well, now Soren's ultimate's not out of the question for sure, but yeah, this is a fine trade. I'm very okay with that. So now they're way off of having Thassa online, which is nice. Of course, if they have like a uh, Damnation or a Languish, it's pretty bad because then they get to search for a Planeswalker. We get to get Scrap Heap Scrounger back, but I guess we get to keep up Soren after that. Let's get a little weird. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. South Africa, that's fantastic. You might be the first uh, South African fan that I know of. That's actually fan. That's so sweet. Well, if we ultimate Soren, though, the thing is, uh, if they have like a Gideon, no, I guess they're not gonna have a Gideon. If they have, like, an Obnixilis and we don't have any way to pressure it, like, it's pretty bad. I guess we can Scrap Heap Scrounger and attack it. Well, that's pretty good. <sighs> that I'm not a fan of. Okay. 
That is not what we wanted to draw. So they have three blockers, only one can float. So they just block here, block here, get a free Planeswalker, presumably. They go to one. Are we just afraid of Planeswalkers? Like, if they just get a free... God, any equipment here would be so insane. Alright, they go to one. Iceland? Oh, this is gas. What a time to be alive. Man, the internet's a crazy place. They have seven cards in hand. That is a lot. They are at one life. My kingdom for a sign in blood. I mean, if they don't have an answer or another flyer, like we do win. Doubt that's going to happen, though. Oh, this is aggressive. Yeah. Oh, interesting, interesting. Four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so Soren is dead. Let's really go languish. Get a planeswalker. No. Okay. Well, draw your cards. Cryptic command incoming. Well, you gotta tap down the team here. So that's nice because then we can play a Johnny, get back pack rat, make a rat, and then we're back in business. Yep. Bounce a token. Okay, that's not even drawing a card, which is nice. Give me my rat back. Do, 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 do. Rat city. Rat city. They have drawn at least four cards from this consecrated sphinx. Oh yeah, the cat just the cat just brought us a rat. I like it. Johnny was rooting around in the garbage and brought us a rat. Okay, well. Okay, this is aggressive. Yeah, I'm just going to take that. I can't block the Consecrated Sphinx. And Johnny's done his work, so. I assume you have Snapcaster con uh, Cryptic Command. That's That's my assumption.
God, do we have any way to deal like one point of damage? Okay. Well. Oh, we should have actually scrap scroungered it. Oh, that's so frustrating. But if they had an answer for a creature that's sorcery speed, then they can get rid of our thing. So, yeah, that's fine. Did I just lose the scrounger here? Nimble obstructionist. Sure. So we have a threat. Their lands don't untap. They can tap down Thalia and then we can get back scrounger. Seems good. Giving them a free tomato was pretty bad, but on the same hand, like, if they had, like, I don't know what they could have had main phase. I think it was just a mistake. I think we should have in response to Arena Rector. I never think you can respond to it. I always think it's a replacement effect. Um... And we win the game. Seems good. All right. I like Slaughter Pack because they have Consecrated Sphinx. I like Cast Out for the same reason. I'm going to take Arena Rector out. I think it's a little too slow. I'm just gonna play. I'm just gonna play 41 with 16 lands. It's not. It's not. It's not okay. But oh, legions landing. All right, we're gonna keep this hand. Landing into Vanguard. Sure. That literally only affects Scrap Heap Scrounger. Inquisition's good, but it's not great because a lot of their cards cost more. Like they have Skin Render. Um, Tamiyo, Consecrated Sphinx, Cryptic Command. I mean, it could take like a. I think we saw like three cards that it could take that I really care about. Which was like Bantu, um, Thassa, and Night Veil Spectre. This sounds actually very good because we can play all of our things before we actually need to play the Strambling Vent. This has to get countered, right? Sure. You got it. How did it do? do, 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 do. You're going to bond to his last reckoning? No? Could just play Shambling Vent actually and try to flip Legion's Landing next turn. 
I think it's probably better than getting cryptic commanded here, but they have to have cryptic command, so. Pick your modes. Let's go. Uh, is politics and chat still not okay? I mean, it's not preferable. Yep. Lucky, 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 lucky. Yeah, I almost like shambling that there just to attack with it next turn. But. I mean, a Johnny's also fine if we can resolve an a Johnny and play a Shambling Vent. Whatever, they're at 11. Good luck having... I mean, like, they have to have an answer for an Adanto Vanguard. I guess they do. <laughs> I guess we get to resolve a Johnny here. Activate Shambling Vents, put a counter on both. Seems good. <sighs> yeah, that's annoying. Bone Shredder one time. Bitter Blossom's actually not terrible. I think we're just going to let a Johnny go. Play Bitter Blossom. Play Glorious Anthem. Put no counters on anything. I feel like our board is very, very good right now. Like, they're just going to attack a Johnny and then we take two, but... They have to have an answer for an Adondo Vanguard. Oh, you have... You have a... Toxic Deluge. Seems good. Oh, I'll activate my Relic? Oh, of course you will. So you have seven here? It's very good. All right, so we're at 23. We have uh, Fairy Rogue, so you can't attack with this guy. You can attack with this guy, but then we, I don't think we're blocking. I'd rather just mass enough creatures to flip Allegiance landing. I have a feeling they're just gonna go land Consecrated Sphinx, like you do. And we're gonna cross our fingers for cast out Bone Shredder, Vindicate. Okay. Kithian. Actually, flipping this and this next turn is pretty okay. I didn't want to attack because then they just block here. And then it's not great. We can just keep it up as a blocker. I also kind of just want to play the land here so that we can do this twice if we have to. I don't care about hiding a land from them. I'd rather just be like, if they if they like Bontu's Last Reckoning and then they have like... Yeah, yeah that's, that's a dig. Especially when they have... Yeah, that's that's a dig. That's a dig. It's round two. Yes, okay. One little looter. One little one, two, three, activate, and we can still keep up indestructibility. No blocks. Because I can't.
Mama's little baby loves taking one. I think the only thing we're afraid of here is Consecrated Sphinx. He said before his opponent windmill slammed to Consecrated Sphinx. Oh, here we go. They gotta have land. No, they don't have land. They already have six. They're not, they're not windmill slamming it. All right, that's fine. Yep, all these are okay. Interestingly annoying because they have... That is not bad. Here we go. So now we can play Mother of Runes and keep up Indestructible if we need it. And both of these kill any of their creatures, except for this guy if they want to pay the, the mana, which is fine. Mama's little... They could just block here and block here, force us to use the mana, but then we just play Mother of Runes. It's fine. Our deck is pretty cool. Mama's little baby loves shortening and braid. Yep, that's actually what I figured they do, comically enough. So make it four, we can actually make this guy... They could just steal one of these. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Gideon's dead here. They can go steal this guy. Block here. Actually, Gideon only takes three if they do that. It's not terrible. And we have one, two, three, activate, one, two, three, activate. So we need eight lands total, five, six, seven, and we have eight. So we can make a guy and attack with Shambling Vent every single turn. They only have three cards. Gideon's also a five, five with the Glorious Anthem. Fascinating. Both at Gideon. So the problem is if we double block this dungeon geist, they can steal the indestructible one and kill the normal one. And they keep their dungeon geist. Which is something worth considering. I mean, unfortunately, this Mother of Runes is one turn too late with our Old Man of the Sea, but... Gideon, Gideon, my face. Yeah, so we're just going to block with this guy. If they want to steal it, the block is still done. Yep. Consecrated Sphinx. Never fails. Never don't have it. That's a pretty good draw, actually. So they actually have to block with Mother of Runes. We're definitely casting out. I think they're dead. Because they can only block one. They block the Gideon take three. Yeah, they're dead. Yep. 
Got him! I mean, we had infinite removal spells that we just didn't... We had Slaughter Pact, Cast Out, Vindicate, Bone Shredder. Um, and I think maybe even something else. I can't even tell. But, like, that, we had a lot of, a lot of draws. We have yet to lose a game with this deck. This deck is sweet. Let's do it every day. Keep. Snap keep. Snap it off. Krasinski, man. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Draft only rectangle, rectangular cards. I think we actually just did that stipulation. Interestingly enough. Mom's little baby loves children. Did you guys know about Mama's little baby? Um... Also, I just realized the Demon Lord Bells Unlocked did not come back. They're say they're typing. You can tell when they're typing because like. <laughs> um, I'm super confused by both decks until I remembered it's Cubo Clock. Yeah, like what are the what are you playing? What format even is this? Mama's little ponder loves shortening. Is this the third blue deck in a row? That card's that color's good. Mama's little baby loves pondering. P -p 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 pondering. Oh, that's probably better than Vanguard here. Daze me? Oh, no days. All right. Wow, this would be a heck of a chaos draft. The entire table had to open and pass extremely playable black white rares to me. Oh, a third turn, Ancestral Vision, and no third land. Oh, do we nug a land here? This feels like land nugging territory, I'm going to be honest. God, do we do we be the bad guys? We got to be the bad guys, right? They didn't have a turn. They didn't have a play last turn, so if they don't have a land this turn. Oh, we're the bad guy. I hate being the bad guy. And flip it. Flip it. Flip it. It was in and a bop do bop. But the very best thing of all. Gonna flip it all the time. Alright, so they can't really go ham next turn. And if they have like a Supreme Verdict Wrath of God card, we can actually give this guy indestructible and this guy can come back. But this is a lot of power on the board for. Uh, oh, I forgot. I also forgot we had this. <laughs> it doesn't really matter, but it's nice to have. It's like 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. This is almost lethal. This is one shy of lethal. Okay. Now it's less, but still. Yep, that's a good one. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. God, the number of my lands that actually do do cool things. Go to four. So EOT, Scrap Heap, Scrounger, Attack with Scrounger, and uh, Shambling Vent wins us the game if they don't have a, a board wipe, and they can't cast Cryptic Command, so... 
I think they're probably gonna board wipe just to sh just to do it, or they're gonna scoop. Okay. But okay. I like cast out because they do have permanents like Oblivion Ring that we can get back. I'm gonna take out the Bone Shredder because we saw no creatures. Inquisition could be good just to know what's up. Man, Legion Landing doing some work. I'm gonna submit like this. I. We don't have any card that costs more than five, and uh, I think we did okay last time, so. But the very best thing of all, there's a counter on this ball. Uh, I don't want to take Mana Confluence out just because it doesn't hurt us at all, and it's actually just a great black and white source, which is kind of nice. Yeah, this hand is not great, but I'm going to keep it because we're on the on the draw, and it does have lands enough to cast things. Like, we can play Turn 2 Mother of Runes, which is still good. Or if we just draw planes off the top... Ah, uh, we didn't. Also, if we draw another planes, we can go Sky Marcher into Mother of Ruins, which is pretty pretty good. We did not draw that. Mother of Runes. In all the wrong places, Mother of Runes. Too many spaces, Mother of Runes. The one um Dreaming of. Oh, a thirst in response. All right. Sadate off the tippy tail. If we draw another planes, we can go Glorious Anthem and Sky Marcher Aspirant. Ooh, discarded face fetters and planes. That's good for us. Yep, never taking down the Mother of Rune shields because that's just how you do it. Mother of Rune should not even be a creature, just be an enchantment that you tap. Okay. Uh, okay. How does this always happen? That's the second time someone's done that. Oh, that's pretty good. Well, that was embarrassing. <laughs> that is the second time someone has done that against my mother of runes. I won't tell anyone. I wish you could use emojis in Magic Online, but oh well. <laughs> almost, almost as bad as that spelling. That's good times. This is all good times. Oh, did they just have six their turn now? Nothing, nothing good is coming of what's going on right now. We could have played Pre-Saint Captain first to cast out if they have a Settle the Wreckage. You know what? Sure. We'll keep the other land in case we have a... They have seven, six cards in hand? That's for, That's a lot. That's too many cards.
Let's do the deed. I guess we just get in there for six. I, we can't. I, want, I really want to get in there for eight because it's a two-turn clock, but... I guess it's also a two-turn clock with the extra creature on board. So it's three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then they're at ten. I'm gonna play a land because I want to keep up cast out. Here we go. Wipe that board. Banishing light. I thought we. Oh, this is actually good, because we can cast that out at the end of the turn. And I think that's going to be game. That's perfect. So they have one mana up. It could be... Actually, we don't... 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8. I think we have to go for it, right? Does it pop next turn? No, it's quite a ways away. No, this should be fine. I don't want to get greedy here. The only thing I'm going to protect, if they have like a path or something, the only thing I'm going to save is Mother of Runes. Or uh, is Shambling Vent. Because we can go Scrounger, Shambling Vent, and actually keep up Scroungy. Which I think they do. I think they do have the one mana. Path or Swords. I'm going to say good games. All right. Sweet. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. That deck was great. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And uh, if you guys want to support me on Patreon, you can support me for as low as a dollar a month. That's like nothing. That's like literally half of a candy bar a month. And uh, you get some sweet content there. And also you can check me out on Twitch. Links are both in the description below. Thank you for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you next time.